I remember walking into Cooper, Cooper Union in the Great Hall, and I had just never seen anything like that. I mean, the meetings we had at Yale were usually in churches, and there were hundreds of people there, and people spoke expertaneously, and we were very organized. But ACT UP was like, I couldn't believe the amount of divisions, the layers of it, the complexity of it, how articulate people were, uh, and also the immediacy. I mean, there were people at every level of HIV infection at that moment. And I walked in that room, and you could palpably feel the sense of urgency um, that there was nothing hypothetical about it. And it was also, to my very academic mind, just a fabulous militia of thinkers uh, and people willing to take their strength in what they could think and then do something with it. It was pragmatism at the highest level. And I was just thrilled by it. Also, it was personal to me. I, I, I was just beginning to absorb the seriousness of the illness of my friends and also to become aware of, in the 90s, how discriminated against we were, uh, in part because of our sexuality and in part because of fear and ignorance around the disease. And so I was like one of those lost kids that just found a perfect place uh, for everything. I mean, I, had, I was bilingual by that time in Spanish and English. I had excellent research skills. I was desperately wanting to be part of the world uh, in a meaningful way, and here it was. And, and I think from that spring of 1990 until the spring of 1993, that's all I really did was act up. I mean, I, I worked, I had jobs, I found a way to support myself, but it was all to, uh, to get me to those Monday night meetings. And all the other meetings I went to um, from that point on. Well, let's talk about some of those activities. So did you become a Mary? I became a Mary. I was inducted in Marydom. <laughs> um, Can you tell us who the, who the other Marys were? Well, I, I don't know all of them by name, or at least I don't remember all of them. And the Marys, I mean, some of them had, you know, died and others joined and others left. But I can certainly tell you the ones I work the most with. <laughs> Um, well, Lori, of course, introduced me to the Marys, uh, Stephen Michon, um, who seemed like the Queen Mary, and um, Joya Pasala, and Jim Baggett, and Jim, uh, Tim Bailey, um, and Barbara Hughes, and John Greenberg, of course. And um, those were predominantly the people I worked the most with. Um, and. The whole idea of the affinity group, that ACT UP itself was already um, a counterculture, and then it had to have countercultures within its own counterculture, uh, and also create ways for people to bond and create identities, uh, and then create actions that didn't need to be okayed on the floor, and didn't have the stamp of approval of ACT UP. I, I mean, everything about ACT UP was so brilliant organizationally, and it was brilliant because it was organic and it came out of necessity. And the affinity groups were pure necessity. Because ACT UP always, when I was part of it, always wanted the freshness of irreverence. And irreverence can't come from consensus. 